newest tag. My dog is whining. I'm so sorry. Not honey. And then I'm not sure who this A. Hey. No, no one's here. No one's here. Go lay down. Lay down. You're not gonna lay down. Okay. <gasps> Gary! Oh god. Welcome to my channel, Tuesday's Fun Finds. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. My daughter loves volleyball, my husband loves to fish, and I love to thrift. I try to turn my fun finds into extra cash. This is by shopping at thrift stores, yard sales, and antique malls. I also buy thrift boxes from places like shopgoodwill.com and ThreadUp. If you like thrifting as much as I do, stick around. Watch my unboxings and my hauls. You never know. You may even find a good deal. Today I have a thrift haul for you. I ventured to Springfield, Ohio this past weekend. Springfield is about an hour, hour 15 from me. I ended up at a flea market, two antique stores, and two thrift stores. It started off slow at the flea market, but it definitely picked up as the day went on. It was a very long day, but it was so much fun. Okay, so we're going to start from this end of the island and finish up at this end. This is our first stop at the market, and um, one of the first items that I picked up, um, when I first walked in the door, I found this vintage Jack Lantern um, decor. Um, I looked at the lady, I said, how much for this? And she said, two bucks. I'm like, yes, absolutely. So I felt like it was going to be a really good day um, starting off with that. And then I picked up these uh, Peter Pan records. They were $2 each. This is Three Little Kittens. I'm not sure if these are 48s or the 33s or, but, um, well, I'll show you in a minute, but anywho. So I got Three Little Kittens, the doggy that, or the doggy, that doggy in the window. Really cute. Manufactured New Work. New Jersey, New Work, New Jersey. Um, let's see here. God bless America. Now, see, this one may be a smaller one than those. Um, this is a golden record. And this other one's a golden record. This is White Christmas. I like the little pic pixies on there. That's really why I bought that was the cute little girl. Um, and then this is a brand new one. This is actually Peter Cottontail. Brand new in package. This is also Peter Pan, Peter Pan Records. And I'm gonna open this one up because I have a Power Tronic uh, record player that I picked up a few months ago um, that I wanted to try to see if it worked. So I think this is the perfect time. I got this brand new one. That way we know for sure if it works or not. Um, I don't believe that this has that much value um, and my thought was that after I opened this and if it worked on here that I may just go ahead and sell them together make this part of it so give me just a second and we'll see if it works okay this is a 45 work out very well. Um, I may give it to my husband, see if he wants to tinker with it, um, see if he can get it running, but I sure couldn't. I'm sad. But anyway, so much for that. Okay, where were we? So then I went to, um, one guy had a setup and he had a tub full of some wallets and some purses. And I seen this Dooney wallet, so I picked that up. He said two bucks. Yes, please. It needs cleaned up, so that'll be um, something that I'll be doing in the future. Um, this coach wristlet needs cleaned up as well. So that was gold $2. 
Um, and then I got this cute miniature, or I shouldn't say miniature, but small bucket purse, coach bucket purse. Um, I already have a coach black um, purse that I need to get cleaned up. So I thought, well, what the heck? What's another, what's another piece, you know? I thought for $2, I couldn't leave it there. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up as well. We'll just add that to that pile. And believe it or not, I found two more um, black leather coach bags while I was out this weekend. Um, so I'll show you those here in a little bit that we'll be adding to that pile. And then the last thing that I picked up while I was at the market um, was this uh, Victorian decanter. I picked up Victorian milk glass before um, and it has sold okay for me. Um, but so I figured, well, I really liked the paint job or the, um, I don't think this was overlay. I really do think this was a, um, a paint job or I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll be doing some research on it. Um, but it was in pretty decent condition. The guy had it on a half off table. So I paid $10 for it. All right, and then we move on to um, the first antique store, which didn't go that well either. Um, but I picked up this um, Napco Wear Deer. I know that they're very popular all the time and especially around the holidays. So I picked that up. I think I paid up for this. Um, I think I paid about $20 for it. But I definitely can get my money and make a little bit on it unless I decide to keep it. We shall see. I picked up these two, um, let's see, Joseph Originals. These are um, flocked. This is a flocked little kitty and it holds a heart and it says, I love you. Very cute. And then this one is a Joseph Originals flocked pig, which I thought was too cute too. I don't remember what I paid for them. I would say probably maybe anywhere between four and $6 each. And then I found this. This is a decorated, I don't, Babenchi drip protectors, but I know that they are candle drip protectors. These are definitely vintage. I love the box. Um, and then they actually have the um, bobble brush tree on them. They've got this adorable little gold trim and both of them are in the box and in nice, con oh, that one's gonna come off, and he's glued, um, in really nice condition, and I couldn't leave them there. And I believe I also paid up for this, um, I paid $20 for this cute set, so I could definitely make a little bit on it um, come next season, come. So I have to hold on to it probably for a little while. Okay, then the second antique mall is where everything kind of got a little bit better. Um, I don't remember exactly what I picked up first, but I'll just start off with these bigger items back here. And I could not leave this blue baby blanket. I could not leave this there for $12. It's got this beautiful satin edge. Um, we've got some bunnies. Let's see what else? Bunny, deer, tree. And then the, if you flip it over, it's like reversed. So pretty, excellent condition. Couldn't leave it there for 12 bucks. I can definitely double, if not maybe triple, um, my money on that one. Exciting. Um, I found this wood, carbon, carved wooden box. Um, and the reason why I actually picked this up, I don't remember the price, um, but it comes with its lock and its keys. It's, oh, it's mirrored. Um, it's carved. The top is a little scratched, but it has its hardware on both sides. It has its four feet and its hardware is perfectly fine here in the front. I believe these used to be um, chocolate chocolate boxes. People would put their chocolates in here. Um, I actually found out a little bit about this box by watching a YouTuber, um, Jeffrey. Jeffrey at, I can't think of his page. 
But anywho, so when I seen it, I thought, ooh, yeah. Um, I learned about this on Jeffrey's page. I'll put his, but anywho, so real neat, fun, fun to find. I found fairy lamps. I love fairy lamps. Fairy lamps are really big right now. And whenever I find them, I just get all kinds of giddy because I actually love them for myself as well. Um, but the, here's a fairy lamp. I believe this is Bar and Stars by Ellie Smith. That's an amber colored one that I picked up. And then uh, the, oh, and I wanna say I paid 15 for this. Um, I definitely can double my money on that. The, these two blue ones are Fenton. Fenton Fairy Lamps. And I picked these up two for 50. Um, and I should be able to get $50 each on those. So that was, I thought was a really good deal. Um, I have sold Raku pieces before in the past. And this is actually a little plump elephant um raku piece that is signed i don't know what the signature is but um i want to say i paid 12 dollars for him so i would be able to double if not triple my money i think on him um this is only the second victorian lamp that i have found out um, while thrifting um, the other one that I have is purple, and I found this one, I want to say I paid $20 for that, um, which is probably a little high, but let me grab my purple one. Hold on. Okay, so here's my purple one. It's like a plum, deep plum purple. Hopefully you can see the color. Um, and then here's the blue one. So I'll be keeping this. I don't think I'm going to sell it. Maybe if I get more than two, <laughs> I'll think about selling them. But so that was a neat find for me. I was like, oh, um, let's see. Oh, I picked up, I believe this is a little leptin tea light holder. Um, she's part of a choir. And I want to say I paid four to six dollars for her. I don't remember exactly. Um, I picked up this, I believe this is Tierra glass. And this may be, oh, what bird is this? I just read about it and now I can't remember. I don't wanna say bird of happiness. I'll put it on the screen, but, um, and I don't, I wanna say I paid eight to $12 for this. Um, the neat, the, the thing that I liked about it the most is not on, the bird, of course. And this is kind of a pink color. This is like a pink amber color. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's lighter than an amber, but then it's too dark to be a pink. So I liked the bird on it. I like the color of the glass. And then the back side of it also has that same bird. So I just, because of those reasons, I thought I had to buy it. So I did. So I can hopefully make a little bit on that piece. And then the last item that I bought at this antique store is going to, oh I'm sorry second to last item that I bought at this antique store is this little set so this is um I don't know who the maker is but it is a vanity set so here you have your tray and I like the size it's a cute little size and then you have a little box like for jewelry rings hairpins whatever and then I thought that this was another tray, but it's actually another lid that goes to another box or another um, can canister. And um, I didn't read the tag very well, but the other canister is no longer, but they included it in the set. I only paid $5 for the set, so I'm not really tore up about the fact that I don't have the bottom to this, but I think it still can serve a purpose. Um, Really cute. Okay, so that was it at that antique store. That so I forgot all about the um, Howard Head. Um, I picked her up at that second antique mall. Um, I forgot I laid her down, meant to come back to her, and I didn't. 
So I figured I'd just put in a little clip, but this is a whole Howard head. She would have been on probably like a tree topper, um, her cute little piped arms, but she was $3. So I picked her up and saved her as well. Petite mall. This is my first um, thrift store stop, which turned out to be really good. Um, this is a biking six petal compote that's in an amber. For some reason, I feel like amber and blue, you know, blue was going on this weekend. Um, but here's the petal compote dish. I paid $6 for it. I should be able to definitely double or triple my money on that. Then I found the set of seven um, brass candlestick holders. I want to say I paid $3 for the set, which was, I believe, a total steal. So I'm going to do really well with these, I believe. Um, I picked up, I have actually bought and sold this before. Um, so I picked this up. This is a... Um, made in Japan um, wall pocket that's like a cuckoo clock. Now, sadly, the price tag was actually over top of this repair, crack and repair. Um, I want to say I paid $1.99, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. I think I'm still going to try and sell it. Um, I'll just have to make sure that I notate the, the repair in my listing. So that was cute. I couldn't leave this redware plate behind. I think I paid maybe $99, $1.99 for this plate. It was made by a lady named Diane in 88. And she said that it was 70, beautiful Sunday that day. <laughs> but it has a bird on it. Um, decent size. I really like the redware. And this also has her initials in the year on the front of the piece, which I thought was cute. Pick that up. Okay, I picked up this Brighton purse crossbody. I haven't sold the other Brighton from a few weeks ago, but um, it's in such good condition. I couldn't leave it there. I paid um, $6.99. So I'll be listing that probably soon. I found this adorable coach purse. Um, so tiny, I can't even see in there to see the Creed, but the Creed is in there. Adorable little mini crossbody coach purse. I figured this was actually $8.99, a little pricey. I, there may have been a discount on this color tag, I don't remember, but um, I figured, well, here's another one. We'll just add it to the pile of purses that need to be cleaned, conditioned, taken care of. They need some love. And then come across another one. So here's a coach, another coach bag. Whew, this thing, I bet you this thing is going to look so nice once it gets some. Um, I mean, it's so dry. It's just dried out. This one's 9790. I paid $12.99 for it, but I thought, you know what? It needs to come home with me. Somebody needs to take care of it. We're just going to end up in the landfill, and I don't want that. So $20, and we're going to add it to the pile. So now I have four bags that need to be cleaned. Maybe, maybe I'll do a video on that um, and then do the before and after or something. Maybe that'll be fun. Okay, the last item from that thrift store, you know, and I never thrifted one of these. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand, but um, it is very nice brown leather wallet, and it says Henry Bendel, New York. I did a small little search on it. Um... I looked at the comps a little bit on wallets, and I thought, what the heck? I paid $20 for it. Uh, maybe I'll put some comps up on the screen, but this needs to be conditioned and wiped up a little bit, but I think this was a really good find. Um, again, I don't know anything about the brand. Hopefully, maybe one of you do. So I'm excited to learn more about this. 
you could just tell it was a really nice quality. When I grabbed it, I was like, ooh, this is nice. Okay, last thrift store that I went to, I picked up this, I paid $10 for the Lord's Prayer Blanket. It's new and packaged, it appears. So I thought, well, I can definitely probably get $40, $50 for the blanket. So I'm excited about that. I picked up this very cool mid-century, modern boho, mid-century boho um, mushrooms are really in right now. Um, but this is actually an hors d'oeuvre holder, I believe. So there's little um, holes at the top of the mushroom heads. And I believe you're supposed to put hors d'oeuvres on them with a toothpick. Oh, what? I paid $5 for this. And then I found another mushroom piece. Now this one, I think this is more homemade. Where, well, this was made in the Philippines. Um, this maybe, I don't think. There's no tag on it anyways, but I thought, what the heck? You know, that, that'll, that'll fit into the boho, um, you know, rustic cabin, like all kinds of different areas. I like it. Um, if I had this feeling in my house, I would definitely be styling that. But I also paid $5 for that. So those were fun. I found at this thrift store a... Fossil wristlet. Love the color, perfect for spring. I was excited about that, $4. Um, and then this is one of my favorites. This is Grainware, G-R-A-I-N Wear. It does not look like it's very scratched at all, but this is another really like mid-century um, modern piece, Lucite fish plate. Um, it'll be light to ship. And I paid $5 for that. And then lastly, I went ahead and picked up three scarves. This is a black and white checkered J. Crew scarf, still new with tag. My dog is whining, I'm so sorry. Paid $4. Gabby, hold on, honey. And then I'm not sure who this, A. Hey. shh, no, no one's here. No one's here, go lay down, lay down, lay down. You're not gonna lay down, okay. because she's seen a groundhog. <sighs> oh Lord, I've seen it too. Okay, so I don't know who, <laughs> I don't know who this designer is. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I loved the mid-century look of this scarf, pulled it out, and then um, I thought, well, this has to come home with me. And um, apparently comps look pretty decent. Again, this was a $4 purchase. And then last but not least, hopefully I can hold this up pretty well for you guys. This feels so nice and looks so pretty. I hope that you can see that in the camera, but um, I believe that's a swan. Could be way wrong, but the, um, the scarf is absolutely beautiful. It has a tag. No, I'm sorry. It is marked by the designer. And then I believe this is uh, Nadia, N-A-D-I-A -A flower. And I believe these were sold at Tolbert's. Tolbert's. 
So that was cool, four dollars. I had so much fun the last that you know past weekend. I had I had such a blast um, thrifting and finding things for resale. Uh, I wanted to share my haul with you. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you're interested in anything from today's video, please email me at TuesdaysFunFinds at gmail.com. Before you go, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please also like, drop a comment, and click the notification bell. Be sure to select all. That way you're notified when I post my next video. All of this helps my channel grow. As always, thank you, and we'll see you soon.